Yes, it was very exciting, and uh, it delivered the message that it really needed to get out. That was great. Very, very touching, very emotional. Believe it or not, you know, big bad biker, you know, somebody like me, you know, I, I got tears. Frank lived the American century. An ambulance driver on the Western Front, he bore witness to the carnage of the trenches in Europe. His April of six, he declared war on Germany against Germany. Everything was destroyed down to about three feet from the ground. So do you think that other people should come see it? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. 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 I, I had no clue or comprehension of what depth of hell World War I actually was. It so happened that on the day that we jumped, we heard that they were to be assassinated on that given day. Exterminate the prisoners, men, women, and children. These guys were skin and bones, 80, 90 pounds. Get a little blood up. And they told us that we'd have no, no trouble probably getting in, but we may not get out alive. And there we are at this memorial. And you know, it was completely abandoned. It's uh, phenomenal to me. In this town, we have monuments to everybody uh, of importance from America and throughout the world. Yet for some reason, we can't find it within our fiber to honor uh, the doughboys of World War I. Let's we dedicate ourselves to bringing freedom to the District of Columbia because that is precisely what they fought for. That was the path of his life. He had adventure after adventure after adventure. Buckles never stopped. He never stopped when he was 12. He never stopped when he was 16. He never stopped when he was 110. It is with great honor that we present to you Pershing's Last Patriot. 110 years in the making. The true fabric of the American spirit.